Hello, I'm Nico, the lead guide of Nunatak Adventures. In this video, we're gonna cover the basic mountaineering knots. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so the first knot we're gonna learn is the famous figure of eight on a bite. To make it happen, we need about half a meter of rope on a bite, like so. The first movement I'm gonna do is by the end of the bite to this movement and then I'm gonna take a bit of the slack of the end of the bite go over and underneath the initial bend that I form just gonna pull it through and at this stage you can already see the shape I just need to make it clean so I'm gonna make sure that it looks without any bent and you see that I didn't need to adjust too much and the key to not adjust too much is to not bend it as you do it another detail here make sure to have at the end of the knot about one fist and a bit sticking out you're gonna hear that multiple times in this list of knots. So this is the figure of eight on a bite. The second knot we're gonna learn is the overhand on a bite. To make this happen, I need about 40 centimeter of a bite of rope, like so. I'll take the bite, I start it by doing the same movement like I did with the figure of eight. And now I'll take this inside the hole that I just made, like so. This point I need to make the knot clean before making it tight. So I can look what needs to be above or below each other and just tighten it up. A few things to take from this is again I want a fist and a bit of rope at the end and the bite of rope over here big enough so I can clip a carabiner to attach them to myself. This is the overhand on a bite. Next knot to learn it's called butterfly knot. It's used as a friction knot between clambers when roped up on a glacier or also to clip each climber on the rope. So one way to do it is this way. Putting the rope three times around your palm. Now I'm gonna use my other hand to make the knot happen. I'm gonna take the second line from under, pull a bit of slack and this bite will go closer to my thumb and underneath all the other lines I'm gonna take the same bite from underneath and now I can just pull each end of the line. To make this not happen I need to just pull in opposite direction. So this would be the clipping point for the climbers or the friction knot between climbers. I can visually check that it's symmetric knot and that's how I check that it's well done. Again, it's the bite of rope here, it's big enough so I can clip a carabiner and attach it to myself, but not too big that I lose too much rope for it. All right, so this is the butterfly knot. The next one to learn is called clove hitch. There are many ways to make it. I'm gonna show you a few. One way is to make a bite. With one hand you need to think you always work with the same hand. So I'm gonna make a bite looking like that. I'm gonna repeat it another time. Okay, now that I created this shape, I'm gonna take the second loop that I just made and put it behind the first one. 
like so. I'm ready to clip carabiner through and pull each end to make it tight. So yeah, as you see, one end of the line goes out towards this direction and the other one the opposite direction. It's a very nice hitch because I can adjust the length of it without removing the carabiner. That's kind of his feature. Alright, so this is a clovich. Another way to do it would be to place your thumb opposite with an X over your hands and to connect your thumbs like so. Now again the closer loop, in this case my right hand, I'm gonna place it behind the second loop or behind my left hand. Now again I'm ready to clip this and tension it. I'm gonna double check, looks correct. So this is another way to tie the same clove hitch. The last hitch we're gonna cover today is called Munter hitch. To make this happen I'm gonna start it exactly the same way as a clove hitch. So by doing a bite of rope and a second bite of rope. As you can see the exit strands are opposite one this way, one behind it. Now as a quick reminder of the clovich that would have been like so. Now the Munter hitch I'm gonna fold these two loops on either side either like this or like this. Having two loop of rope I'm now ready to put a carabiner through and to make this hitch happen. Now the, the special feature of the Munter hitch is there is a sliding rope through the carabiner allowing for example lowering somebody in a crevasse, doing some climbing and as you can see I could let's say lower here this person and then I'm gonna let this same person climbing up so I can reverse the hitch and just pull the slack. So the special feature is that the rope is moving on the carabiner compared to the clovich that is not moving. Alright, so this is the Munter hitch. Alright, so we just covered three knots and two hitches that would make the mountaineering knots. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to know more, check our website under courses and maybe you want to join next month in Iceland or East Greenland. See you in the next one then.